Hey there, Young and the Restless fans. Welcome back to another exciting update on your favorite soap opera. I'm your host, and today, we're diving into the drama that unfolded on Monday, October 9th. It was a day filled with wedding vows, secrets, and unexpected guests. So, folks, here's what went down in Genoa City. Our day begins with the emotional renewal of wedding vows for none other than Jack Abbott and Diane Jenkins Abbott. Kyle Abbott, played by Michael Mueller, led them through their heartfelt ceremony. The occasion was graced with the presence of their family and friends. Jack may have had his concerns when Nikki Newman, portrayed by Melody Thomas Scott, took the stage to speak. However, Nikki surprised everyone by offering kind words to the happy couple. But behind closed doors, Nikki issued a warning to Diane, making it clear that she better not hurt Jack. Diane took it in stride, understanding that Jack has protective people looking out for him. Meanwhile, Kyle Abbott and Summer Newman, portrayed by Allison Lanier, had a pleasant chat about their son, Harrison, and Kyle's role as the efficient. They even complimented each other's appearances at the party. However, Kyle once again emphasized that he and Summer are strictly co-parenting now. Summer also took the opportunity to chat with Chance Chancellor, played by Connor Floyd, about his new role as chief of police. She aimed to put to rest any doubts about their relationship status. Claire Grace, portrayed by Haley Aaron, attended the wedding reception with Nikki and couldn't help but make some assumptions. She thought that Chance and Summer were still a couple. However, Nikki clarified that Summer was in the process of divorcing Kyle and held out hope for a reconciliation. The party took an uncomfortable turn when Abby Newman Abbott, played by Melissa Ordway, asked Sharon Rosales about her relationship with Chance. Sharon played it cool, emphasizing the fun they were having. But when Sharon interrupted Chance and Summer's laughter-filled conversation, things got awkward. Despite Mamie Johnson's attempts to bring her family together, Nate Hastings and Devin Hamilton Winters clashed over Mamie's desire to see Nate return to Chancellor Winters. Nate insisted on staying at Newman Enterprises, leading to a tense standoff. In Tucker McCall's suite, Audra Charles, portrayed by Zillica Silver, demanded answers about Tucker's message concerning Kyle. Tucker urged her to restart her romance with Kyle, claiming he could be useful in their plans. He hinted at their intertwined fates and the importance of blackmail material. Tucker revealed his expectation for Audra to attend Jack and Diane's wedding reception. Audra had doubts about getting past security but eventually agreed to go and win Kyle over. Back at the wedding reception, Jack received concerning updates from security. Billy Abbott joined him in the living room, where Tucker made an unexpected appearance, offering a wedding present. Jack turned down the gift and confronted Tucker, accusing him of trying to set up Billy for embezzlement. Tucker denied any involvement, but tensions ran high. As Jack attempted to kick Tucker out, Devin and Abby watched the hostile exchange. Mamie also appeared, catching Tucker's eye. Meanwhile, Audra sneaked into the wedding reception, determined to approach Kyle. Nikki was surprised to see her and questioned her presence. Audra claimed Kyle had invited her and warned Nikki of impending issues if she couldn't accept their connection. And there you have it, folks. Another thrilling episode of The Young and the Restless filled with secrets, surprises, and unexpected guests. Stay tuned for more updates and don't miss the next episode of your favorite soap opera. Until then, keep those TVs on, and we'll be back with more Genoa City drama soon.